Hello, YouTube back community. How's everybody doing today? Um, housekeeping. I'm using my father-in-law's uh, bent billard that he got from uh, up in Gatlinburg. The um, reason why I'm hitting you up today, I have done a, I was going to do a, I guess a review on uh, the Moto Dose, the Sutliff brand. Um, hold on just a minute. It says it's a rich and creamy texture of vanilla, caramel, and honey. Uh, I get every bit of that in this. Um, awesome aromatic. Love the aromatic part of it. It's a good, with me being an inhaler, you know, I tend to inhale a good little bit of what I smoke. Um, I taste it. It's smooth. It has a, just a smidgen of tongue bite as you get on down into the bowl. Um, my main problem is on this, if I was, it was very oily when I opened up the can, um, beautiful aroma, but it was oily as I'll get out. And I don't know if condensation, I don't know because they put the, I don't know, th this is a big 10 for an ounce and a half, a good size 10. I'm 6'2", I'm 6'3". Six six 280. I'm a pretty good size dude. And this is my hand. This is good size 10 in this thing. Um, but when I opened it, the edges around here around the top looked like it had condensation built up. And man, it was wet. To give you an example of how wet it was, <clears throat> the first day I tried to smoke a bowl, it actually, see this. This is a two-ply coffee filter. I dumped it down on this coffee filter. I tried to smoke a bowl in my big uh, straight builder up there that I carry to work. And then when I bought, um, man, it goes to that pipe. It it caked up on the sides. I couldn't I couldn't hardly scrape the stuff off. Man, it just I don't know. So I left it for day two. This is day two of what come off the two ply coffee filters also. Um, got it down to where it's not as moist. But I don't know. Y'all probably can't see it. See how see how wet that still is? Um, I don't know. Has anybody else had the problem with the Sutliff with the Moto Dose? Um is all Sutliff this wet when you buy it? Uh, could it be the can? Could they only put an ounce and a half in this big giant can? I'm I'm lost on it. I'm trying to figure out if I want to spend more money on the Sutliff. Do I have to let it dry for a couple of days on each can before I, you know, before I smoke it? Um, if if it wasn't so wet and so oily. I probably gave this this to back up about a four, but just for the fact that I've had to let this stuff dry out for two to three days before I can have a good bowl of it, I, I had to put it on about a two and a half to a three. Um, the first time I smoked it in the bowl, it smelled like burning hay. People's been around, you know, maybe maybe grass on fire or or hay burning, the popping, the cracking noise. That's what it sounded like. But when I got close to the bottom, it started gurgling my pipe. You can, you can have, you had all the chemicals and the, and the resin and the additives and stuff just caked up in the bottom of my pipe. Um, I'm not, not too happy on it. I'd probably smoke it again. If, you know, if I could get it down to the right humidity, the humidity on it is just, just crazy. I've had I've had this can open 
for about a day and a half after I've let it sit on the coffee filters for almost two days. And the aroma is still strong and it's still woolly. Um, I'm trying to veer more away from the aromatics. I do like the aromatics, but I also sort of like the, uh, the English blend. Uh, Good smoking little build here, Pop Off Steve. Appreciate it. Um, like I said, I've got got my pipes up there. Did a salt treatment. Thanks to Louisiana Pipe Guy breaking it down for me. Uh oh. Yeah, we got some helicopters flying around. Looks like only cause we're out in the neck of the woods and they fly by check or, you know, make sure everybody's doing all right. But anyway. That's my take on my set with uh, Moto Dose. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, I'm going to try a couple more. I see a lot of people are smoking the Maple Street. I'm going to try it. See what, what my take is on that. Because the tobacconist that I go to, he's got a shelf. A big shelf. All, all the way across the top of the shelf, <clears throat> he's got numerous different kinds of Sutliff. And I've checked out the website. I saw Sutliff has English blends as well. But, you know, still being new to the to the pipe world, I'm still trying to figure out what's what. Uh, <clears throat> what's the main, main ingredients in these English blends? Um. And I've learned to, to keep a pipe just for the English blend. Um, but that's about it on the review on the cell. If I'm not, I'm not too fired up about it. Um, if anybody, put down below, if anybody has smoked this, has had the same problem, and they get any ideas of what to do for the settlers um, leave a message or let you know post down at the bottom sort of give me some insight on what to do on this settler blend if it if it's going to stay this wet with others that I endure um, other than that that's about it I uh, hope everybody had a good Labor Day weekend it's not over yet you still got tomorrow done some house cleaning today Got a little bit of storms in today. Um, I'm going to kick it back tomorrow. Just relax for the day. Get everything done this weekend. So, uh, YouTube pipe community. Keep the videos coming. Loving the videos. A lot of a lot of information out there that, that helps us new guys out. Uh, other than that. Here's the peace, and uh, God bless, and smoke on.